What's going on guys? How you guys doing today? And um, today we're going to be discussing our budgets in uh, Mexico. So... Yeah, what? we said we're going to be transparent with our money. And you should know too. Oh, but I did have it like this. I have like a better spreadsheet to kind of explain this a lot better. Uh, at least if you want to see it in numbers. Mm -hmm. If you actually want to see the actual numbers. So if you do, let me know and I can put it up online. But other than that, it's... We kind of broke it up in each subject and how we spend our money. Yes. Um, in the two different places we stayed mm -hmm. at. Actually. Yes, we stayed at two places in Mexico, so... Yes. And, and we'll have also... We'll put that in the article if you want to see where we stayed and everything along with the budget yeah. so along with the budget we're just going to go through like week by week of our time there instead of you giving you like and then we'll give you one whole but we'll, we'll tally, tally it up between those two weeks that we was there but we're going to give you just week by week so yeah based on where we based stayed. off where we were staying at okay well okay just to bring it back we had went to stay at one Airbnb and we canceled it immediately and then went to another one. So we did include that in here. It was painful. But yes. um, this one mainly goes under Dream, Dream Lagoon. That's yes. where we were at. Our main, well, pretty much first day. Yes, in Cancun, yes. Mexico. Yes. Yes. We were a little bit, we were not in the hotel zone, but we were just a little bit outside. Yes. But go ahead. So. For our food expenses, it was, um, you know, we went a little crazy on the food. I think we probably could have, you know. We went crazy because we started going to them expensive, like hardcore tourist yeah. restaurants. But I mean, that, that was like our first few days that we really didn't know any better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then another way that we also lost too, is like with the... Um, with the currency difference at uh, some of those places, you know what I mean? God is good. Yeah, they do get you good. So for food, <laughs> we paid two, 210 bucks on food within our week there. Yes. Um, in Cancun. And um, so, you know, that, like I said, I feel like we probably could have cut that down a little bit. Maybe if we would have, you know, cooked a little bit more meals ourselves. If the currency was like 20 to 1, 20 pesos to 1 USD. And some of the places we'll go eat, they would be like, well, the currency conversion is 1 to 18. Mm -hmm. So it was hitting us bad. But it's 473. Yes, that was a painful one. Um, transportation, we lost some money here because we were dealing with taxis. And, and a lot of taxis, actually. I mean, yeah, that's true, but, you know. Um... But, yeah, it was $88. Oh, oh, and let, let, let me tell you, the only reason why it was, it's that high for four taxi rides is because we, whenever you catch an Uber to the beach, to the hotel, to the hotel zone, it is like so much, it's, 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 it's fairly, it's, you it know, cheap to go it's, there. it's cheap, but whenever you want to leave, that's when it can be because, pricey, because, you know, I guess because, um, realize yeah, choice. so whenever you go over there, to the hotel zone, you cannot get an Uber to get out. Like Ubers are restricted in the hotel zone. Was it restricted? They're or restricted. was it just hard for them? No, to they're do? restricted. They can't come into the hotel zone. That's what the taxi driver told us that's there. They can't come in over there. That's why we was never able to get an Uber to go in. I mean to, to come out, excuse me. But you can get an Uber to go in, they just can't get you to take you out. I think we paid about thirty bucks to get home. So the bulk of that is from that one just that one that ride, one ride oh, it was back horrible. to the room, 30 bucks. So, you know, that kind of stinged us. And, you know, at the end of our journey, and that's when we started, you know, actually riding the bus and stuff like that. And but that's for the second week, yeah. Oh, that was the second week? Yeah, yeah the first is, week. That is true. It was You're Uber right. and taxis. Uber and taxis. You're right. So, Uber, you know, Uber, more taxis than Ubers. <laughs> yes. But, you know, still not bad. And then, apparently, we love the store. <laughs> I mean,. I mean, no, but, we, we like it because no. it's convenient for baby food. I mean, we have to go to the store to buy food. But it wasn't even for baby food. You got food for us, just supplies here and there mm -hmm. that we need, like mm -hmm. paper towel. Oh, miscellaneous for us was pretty much money we kind of took out. Because we still did go to the bank and had got hit with the law, so we just pulled some money out because we needed it. So we just put it under miscellaneous, just so you could have a rough idea what miscellaneous is. Mm -hmm. And that was like a 
108. And that was just like for like little. Yeah, and that one we didn't even. We, to be honest, any money that we took out for like cash, we mm -hmm. kind of didn't track that money. Maybe we'll, later on we'll be better at tracking it more. Mm -hmm. But right now we haven't been tracking it because we're like, we just know the lump sum what I it mean, is. Yeah. It, 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 it just went to maybe like food and, you know, stores and stuff like that or. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, I mean, of course, if you stop on the side of the street yeah, like to, get a, to get a taco or two, they don't mm -hmm. take cards. You know, you have to pay cash for that. So, yeah, just a little bit here and there. The total is $727 the first week. Yes. I mean, it's not bad, but that's not what, what we, we want. Mm -hmm. So, because, I mean, it could have been reckless. But the way we were eating, you know, we could have easily. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Uh, but. but yeah, that was between January 16th and 21st. So, that's when it was time for us to leave. Actually, can I just interject and just say this part? If some things would have gone right on the day that we were supposed to leave, we have found a flight to go to Mexico City, and that's where we probably would have went to. It was $13 a person. Ah, oh, that was a good deal. But because we acted like there was confusion on the day we were supposed to leave, whatever, so we didn't have a chance to book it because it was so last minute. So, but if we had a chance, that would have been lovely. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. But everything happens for a reason, so it's all good. Yeah. So on January second to the twenty eighth, we went to the other place, which was an urban loft. Yes, and that was actually our favorite place while we was in Dreams Lagoon was nice because they had the pool. But like, I really enjoyed this area because it had a nice rooftop. It had the hammock on the back for her, and it was just, I don't know, it was, it was a very beautiful, you know, comfortable place, you know. So we really liked that place, you know. Um, it was pretty much $39 a night, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. $39 a night over there, which totaled up to $391. That's with the service fee. And the with the fee. service fee, cleaning fee, and etc. And, um... It was really awesome. We had a really good time there. And our transportation when we paid when we was over there was um, $63.66. And um, we was able to cut that down by quite a bit. You yeah. know, because we started to kind of get the hang of things and stuff, you know. We left the taxi along with more Uber and a little bit of more bus. Yes, I wish we would have did a little bit more bus. But, you know, we didn't find out about the movie app until a little bit later on down the line, which, yeah. you know, helped us tremendously at the end of our, you know, journey there. Highly recommend the movie app. Yes. Oh, okay. We went to the store. We, we, we apparently spent more. Because <laughs> we ended up spending, well, it was only like two three dollars more. We ended up spending $88 at the store. Our food... Last week was two hundred and ten. This week was twenty seven dollars. Yes. I can tell you why because we had a uh, the where we stayed at. They had like little what was it called? Just little pop up taco stands. Yes, pop up. They'll pop up at night, and they were so cheap. And we only spent twenty seven dollars because we just go there at night. We order so much food, and it was so cheap. Yes. And it was but, so good. Yes, but we also had another little restaurant, like a few ways down that we went to a few nights but that that we used to go to that was also really cheap mm -hmm. all the food around us was cheap cheap and delicious like it was just so good stay with you the know. locals yes you stay with locals you pay the you know the, local, the, price. the local price you know you stay with so that that was really cool and then the rest we were sometimes for breakfast we would always cook at home yeah we always cook breakfast at home so yeah so yeah um and then miscellaneous keep that in mind it's also money that we kind of pulled out mm -hmm. um that was roughly around 102 dollars yes. so the total <laughs> 683 dollars and 66 cents for that week there because the week before was 727 yes. so we was able to cut that down tremendously from the first week and if you have anything uh oh <laughs> what, what do you have to say what you want to say uh, I think that's pretty much it there. Well, we did this video only because we want to be transparent. Let us know if you like it. If you don't like it, we won't do it again. <laughs> if you like it enough where you actually want to see the actual breakdown yourself, let us know so we can put start putting it out and let you know where we put it out. Exactly. But, yeah, because I don't want to be putting in this extra effort of 
breaking out the budget. I mean, I'll keep the budget for ourselves. Yeah, we need. But we'll yes. only share it if you want to see it. If you don't, that's fine. We won't show it. Mm. <laughs> but so, yeah. oh, and then and then next week is it next week? Whenever we leave Colombia, we'll break down how much we spent Colombia based on each location as well. Exactly. So I think it's a fun way to just kind of see how your money can stretch where you go. And we'll start including flights too. Yes. Flights also. Yeah. Flights is also being included in the whole budgeting as well. And I think that'll be fun to see yes. how it goes. Oh, I think she's awake. <laughs> All right. We're going to close this out. Next video will be us traveling from Mexico to Colombia. Until then, see you later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And, um, Leave a comment down below, like she said, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Time back to go back to your normal programming. <laughs> 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 that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, edit that out. <laughs>